Yo, what is going on YouTube? I had so much fun doing the four pros versus noobs video yesterday that I had to do sort of a recreation. So standing in front of me is CPD, CP Doge, also known as Avis, and he's actually the overall best rogue demon player in North America. If anybody's going to be able to handle multiple people at once, it's going to be him. And he's also been known as a former top one North American player in 1v1s on several different occasions. And also guys, Saturday is going to be coming up very soon but actually next saturday on the 23rd we're going to be doing four pros versus noobs again and that time we actually have a roster of literally the best four players in north america so we're going to have definitely probably some different results but in today's video we're going to see how many noobs it takes for cp doge to get taken down and uh, without further ado let's get in the video so we're going to get first off we're starting him off with a oh let me set the cooldowns here right here so I toss people around so first off we're starting with a 1v1 match and uh let's turn this off and let's see how it goes three two one go <laughs> he's the 1v1 the best rogue demon player real quick let's go ahead and shift p in here and see how many players how long it's going to take him to handle this one so obviously this is going to be a super easy stomp he already caught him, predicted his evasive. Just actually imagine and think about how good this guy is. This is literally his first 1v1 of the day. He literally just got home from school. Already predicted the evasive. Already is countering. He is getting boxed up a little bit though. He is getting boxed up, but it's honestly no worry. He doesn't seem to be trying too hard. I mean, you can see how he's kind of walking around. Yep, easily catches him, easily counters through that. Man, just watching these pro players play, they understand game mechanics and things that we don't. Not even I understand probably what exactly is going through his head and the game knowledge he knows about the mechanics. Mm, he gets caught again, though. He uses evasive. Mm. Catches him again, gets evasive down. That's GG's. That is GG's. So, obviously, as we predicted, he's able to handle that 1v1. And the next one is going to be a 1v2. So we're sending down you, and we're sending down you. This is the 1v2. Three, two, one, fight! Now, real quick, we're actually going to load his inventory sound breathing so he has his... Uh, move set his ultimate and all his abilities let's go back into free cam mode so we can get the best viewpoint yo he's hitting both at the same time okay he's hitting his teammate that's not good Ooh, he gets countered does she ult? oh she misses the ult due to a fling difference that was very lucky of him he could have definitely got combos she m2s no cancel they're both m2ing Dude, he's actually very skilled. He's able to completely zone. Look at his movement, guys. I want you guys to seriously watch how he's moving, how he's able to move behind to avoid getting hit while still being able to do the combination. This 1v2 was incredibly fast. They were way too confident in the fact that they'd be able to handle it. Now, when it gets to the harder rounds, he's definitely going to want to probably switch to Thunder move set because Sixfold is going to save him seriously. Because look at that grip time. That is a lot of time when you think about it. So he's definitely going to want to switch once it gets to the harder rounds. So it's time for the 1v3. Hopefully there's no pros in the mix. Let's go ahead and load his inventory to sound breathing. And then we're going to start in three, two, one, go. 1v3, is he going to be able to handle this one? So off rip, already boxing up. So you can see he's targeting one of the better players. He gets water hit. Whoa, that guy definitely doesn't look like a new player. Definitely some sort of alt account. We can see Doge has hit uh 50 percent health points already we may actually restart if he happens to lose what i think we're going to do is remove the water user because he definitely doesn't seem to be a newer player um but he should definitely probably target him yep he gets another clean hit with the flowing water he uses evasive to get out of that what is the chick doing in the back oh she's trying to come in she's got to lock in oh he gets hit with the water all that's not good he uses M2 version, yeah. So we're going to disqualify Slam. 
because he's obviously not a noob account or not a new player. I'm just being fair. I mean, he, he knew how to use the water uh, all M2 version. He was able to perfectly use flowing dance. And I'm not going to lie, flowing dance is actually kind of hard. Yeah, he was decent. That's what I'm saying. And he should have definitely been the challenge. So we're going to definitely uh, run that back. All right. So Doge, would you come over here uh, towards everybody? Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So uh, I don't know what these two noobs are doing, being noobs. But we can actually keep them in the fight though. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, we can slap in this guy real quick. Ruining my King Xavier's video. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right. So yeah, like I said, in the higher rounds, he's definitely gonna wanna go Thunder. Um, discharge early. Ooh, he uses M2, but you can tell he's a little bit slightly laggy. Um, it's definitely important in these higher rounds that the noobs use support classes. So things like string, things like um, arrow, so where he they can get hit from a range and be able to deal damage without potentially getting in your teammate's way. And he gets a perfect all and good damage in there. The arrow user knows to exactly attack right when that ultimate comes up, but of course he uses evasive to evade any damage. The girl's staying in the back, I'm assuming because she's low, but she needs to get back in the fight. So we're gonna actually get in the fight. Or disqualification. I don't know what she's doing here. What are you doing? All right, let's get back in there. See what's going on. Okay, so he confirms a grip and I blame the girl. I blame the chick. What is she doing? Women, am I right? <laughs> Yo, what in the... <laughs> Yo, he just gripped him on top of the tree. How did you even get up there? He literally climbed up there because he knew you could. That's phenomenal. That's a second grip. And we're actually... Uh, oh, crap. I just turned this crap on again. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're actually going to disqualify the girl. Uh, the reason being that she is quite literally useless. I'm sorry. She's probably going to end up watching this video. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Uh, whose fault is it? I was going to say something that's going to be offensive to women, but, you know, it's not true, though. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, we, hey, we fought ghostly, okay? When it ghostly, <laughs> we can't say all oh, women are bad at rogue demon, man. Ghostly was a demon. So, we're going to be handling a 1v4 now. 3, 2, 1, go. So, we're going to be handling a 1v4 now. Let's see how it goes and how it plays out. Okay, already hitting their own teammate. He gets a hit. Discharge. They can combo extend off that, but he hits his teammate. They have some very powerful movesets, but they're fighting ineffectively right now. And they are consistently attacking their own teammates. He gets a triple all. Mm, but he's in trouble here. Oh, but that thunderclap is saving him. They're hitting. They're doing more damage to the team than he is. They hit him with a sixfold. This is actually going to be a hard round for him for a couple of reasons. First off, they have a Hontangu user, multiple thunders. So if they get some devastating damage, it's going to be devastating. He's able to get a double hit. I don't know how he's going to win here. He's going to have to probably try to single one player out and then attempt to target them until they get him down i think he's found his target his target is oh he's moved targets oh he is getting damaged badly i don't think he's going to be able to win this round oh but he's in his teammate oh my gosh evasives abilities discharges so does he try to land it Oh, he hits, he hits the Hontangu user. Ooh, he gets hit by that pleasure, that ragdoll him, but he was able to block in time to evade from taking any damage. Sun user uses evasive and gets hit with a sixfold. He's able to block that and evade the M2. Mm, discharge knocks everybody back. Did he even need to use the discharge? What the, what was that? 
talk about noobs. Okay, he just got six folded. He's going to have to struggle to get that grip. Oh, he's able to get, catch it in time. What does he do? Is he going to be able to run out away in time? They do have six fold. They missed the six fold. They're currently falling behind. If he's able to climb up there and secure that kill, can he secure it in the corner? Oh, he goes up the tree. Perfectly gets up the tree. It takes me like five minutes to do that. Absolutely phenomenal skill here. Literally a parkour expert. This is what we mean when he if we say if anybody can handle a 1v3, it is this guy. Mm, he misses that. He uses god speed to evade. Hits his own teammate and causes him to get put in a combo. <laughs> Ooh, he gets PB'd though, but hits a successful one on the other player. Mm, perfect block on that one. Absolute pure skill. Pure skill. Alright, so he's definitely going to target this bacon here, here. Given that he's the lowest health, but that doesn't mean he should just single target him. If other players are getting in his way, then he should definitely do some damage to them as well. While simultaneously targeting that bacon, given that he's the lowest player in the fight. Yeah, he's got to be low. He's got to be low. Oh man, and he misses his sixfold. Avis doesn't punish him. Whoa, but he gets another down. Honestly, he might want to just fight the bacon. The bacon's got to be like 10 HP. Ooh, he gets hit with that, but it's okay because he just got a heal. He's going for the other guy. Bacon misses it and the Godspeed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, Bacon uses the exact same technique to get up there, but he is struggling to pursue. Bacon has just basically given up on his teammate. Oh, no, he didn't give up. He had to turn off auto run. The bacon hair had to turn off auto run in order to climb up the ladder, but didn't able to make it in time to save his teammate. And now he is pretty much cooked in the next few M1s. Yep. And the 1v4 goes to the pro. Absolutely insane. Avis, do you want to stay on sound? Okay, he's staying on sound. Let's go ahead and load his inventory up with sound literally a 1v4 so now we're gonna have to send in five players all right if he's able to win this that means he can fight the 1v6 and if he's able to win this then technically he would win the whole entire challenge yeah, I'm glad you made that decision, my friend. If you win this one and next round, the 1v6. True. Then that means you will win the entire challenge. Three. Two. Oh. Uh, let's just help you zero and then let you switch. And you can see he's an honorable player as well. Three, two, one, go. Immediately get sixfold. They tried to change sixfold him, but fail. Oh man, it's gonna be hard. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be really, really rough for Avis here. The pressure is going to be absolutely immense. I think sound may have been slightly better because of the AOE and the way they're sandwiching him. The best play that he's going to want to do right now is he's going to want to stop fighting entirely and sort of just run around in a circle in the group and allow them to hit each other. That would be the best play he has here instead of actually trying to fight people and at least try to recover as fast as possible. So... Noobs win. So... Avis just lost that incredibly quickly there due to the play style, in my opinion. He switched back to sound here, we can see. And uh, if he loses this next round here, that means that the game is over. The challenge is completed. And Avis' limit is five noobs. Three, two, one, go. All right, they missed the initial sixfold. He was ready for that that time. 
Ooh, does Negan have string? If he has string, that could be problematic for Avis here. Getting pinned down is not going to be a good thing. However, what Avis does have is he has his musical combo M1, which would give him enough time if he instantly activated it to allow him not to get hit with any damage. Remember, that musical score M1 makes him in iframes, and it's for a very long time. The second one is more effective in dealing consistent damage and more guaranteed if you hit it properly. However... That M1 is a long time with iframes. He could actually probably heal at least 10 health. Oh, he's able to evade. Teammate gets hit. Teammate gets hit. Blue guy gets hit with the Hinokami M2. That's 30 damage that he did not want to take. Whoa, Avis, did you kill somebody? Did you kill somebody, Avis? Okay, well, a player is currently out of the match. I'm counting one, two, three, four players right now. I wonder why he just reset. Let me ask him. Why did you reset? What's going on with you, my friend? Let's hope Avis doesn't get killed. Oh, he died. Oh, you, he died to a teammate. He died to a teammate. Oh, man. That's really good on Avis's part. So now he has to handle 1v4. But the big thing is he can't keep taking damage. <sighs> he can't keep taking damage. <clears throat> Avis, how are you feeling? You think I feel kind of bad. You want to do one more? Final one. Giving him one last chance to win the 1v5. Three, two, yes, you can run. One, go. You, Your job is to do whatever it takes to win and survive. That is your job. It doesn't matter if you run. It doesn't matter if you team. None of it matters. Run, well, you can't really team on people. So what's he going to do here? So he's already starting off running. What I think he's going to do here is go up here since he knows the newer players are going to have difficult time getting up there. And maybe he can definitely single one player out or two players out, which will make it incredibly easier. They're all struggling, but they're all hesitating to continue to go up. Oh, he tries to jump up and string him. <sighs> don't go up there, he says. So the guy says don't go up there. Are the players going to listen? They're all kind of deciding what they should do right now. How you get up. Bacon doesn't care. He's trying to jump up there. They are struggling, though. It is not easy to climb up there. See what I'm saying? He just does it first try. That's what you guys need to realize, man. The skill level is truly just massive. Even to me, there's a pretty big gap. I mean, I'd be able to win maybe one or two rounds or so, but... Overall, I think we lose. So he's standing there. He comes up. What of? Oh, he almost got knocked over. It's very risky for him to come up here. He has to be careful because if he gets too low and he falls down and takes fall damage. Mm, Avis stays up there. The noobs are going to have to figure something out. The noobs are going to have to figure something out. Avis jumps down. He gets beat up a little bit. Oh, man. Avis just made the worst mistake of his entire career. Jumping down there. Avis needs to immediately run back up, which is exactly what he's doing. Oh, man. And he gets stringed down. He's able to block it. He's able to block it in time. He jumps right back up in his spot. In a safety spot. This definitely changed the game and uses a lot more strategy. Which is why I gave him permission to run. It would make more sense. There is no player in the game who's going to be able to straight win a 1v5 with pretty much any noob. Unless it's their literally first time ever playing the game. Our string user is back up. He seems to have a lot of confidence. But what he doesn't understand is if he falls, that's going to leave only four people left to fight. I'm going to bring him down. You guys got to be ready. He's blocking. Oh, did the player come up? So he decided to come up and now they're fighting. 
Okay, so he's going to attempt to bring him down, which means he's probably going to attempt to six-fold. What are they going to do? They're guaranteed to get hit by this ult in this position. He's using the ult to its maximum ability instead of activating it so he can heal as much HP as possible. Boom! He hits the string user. He's able to block counter. The string user is definitely going to be low health right now. Aphis gets six-folded. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, this could be clutch! The, this! Oh, I thought the spider user was down. The new players haven't noticed they've jumped. They haven't noticed he's jumped off. Avis, why'd you climb back up? You should have stayed down there. They didn't even notice. They didn't even notice, bro. Oh, man, he's 5%. Whoa, the skill here! The skill! What? That's massive! Oh my gosh! The skill there is actually incredible. What is Avis going to do here at 5% health? Maybe he's able to do it back and completely juke them. But that was risky. It was kind of a close call. Yo, the bacon is incredibly low. I would instantly use that ultimate, potentially. But he's pro Yep, he's dead. Big dead. He's not getting back up. He has one down. How is he going to confirm the kill? Oh, unlucky, but he's able to dash up. He's able to... I was like, yeah, that was a high distance. Oh my gosh, he's mashing him. He's got the kill. Throws him in the void. But that means he doesn't get the heal. Oh man, one down, four to go. Using the terrain advantage, I don't see how Avis can lose here. He's got two people down, which means a 1v2, which is definitely a good situation. The noobs on the bottom are kind of lost on what to do. They're just kind of sitting here waiting. Back on top here, we have some aggressives going on with Avis. He says, Godspeed is scary. Definitely scare the Godspeed. I'd be too. That Godspeed can take him out in an instant, even with the evasive. So he's definitely going to have to keep his distance. From the Thunder user. Who's coming in. Thunder user is coming in. Oh, he knocks him off. Does he knock him all the way down? Oh, he's massive damage. He might not be able to get up from that. Oh, he gets up. Avis is staying at top. So Avis is going to definitely probably take his time here. Recuperate his health points after being completely devastated. The noobs at the bottom are dumbfounded as what they're going to do. Jay just takes some unnecessary damage there. So we know our Thunder user here is going to be low health. He's still going to be low. The Thunder user tells him to stay down there and avoid coming down. Avis starts making his way downtown, walking south. And he's home now. What's he going to do? Avis decides to jump on the tree. He's coming back down. The four noobs are ready to fight, it looks like. We have one player jumping over here on the side. He comes back. Avis repositions himself. Stupid decision right there. Very bad decision. Very bad decision. We know he is now one shot. The Thunder user is now one shot. What's he going to do? So they're kind of just jumping up there, seeing what's going on. What is Avis' next move going to be? So our bacon here is kind of just raging at the fact he can't get up. Ooh, Thunder user waited for that open opportunity. Mm. Avis is showing at top right now. This is probably going to take a while. The noobs are just kind of standing still. I think we're going to force the noobs to chase. Noobs, you must fight. Chase him. Let's make the noobs here have to fight here. We don't kind of like how they're standing there. We're going to have to force a fight on them. The noobs' job is to kill him, not stand there and let him heal health. Massive damage. He's just... Oh, big guy. Whoa. 
Slow reaction time doesn't even notice. Mm, Avis tries to climb up the tree and gets six folded. The Thunder user is waiting above the tree spot for Avis to climb back up. Mm -mm -mm. We know he's incredibly low. He's definitely going to be below half health. We can see Avis trying to bait sixfold. He misses it. This Thunder user is definitely not bad. Noobs are kind of sitting there. Well, I kind of like how this looks. This looks cool. <laughs> Alright. Thunder user sitting on top. On bottom. This is a stalemate. I think we might... Whoa, somebody's resetting. That's going to disqualify them from the fight, meaning that Avis is only going to have to fight a 1v2 or 3. Resetting obviously isn't permitted. If you die at all, you are out. He sold that one. Avis has the confidence to come out to the open now, given he's back in a 1v3 situation. However, he's got to watch out for the Thunder user, even the Insect. All three of these noobs are capable of doing some sort of combos, so he's definitely still going to want to be careful not to get caught here. Sixfold from above. Avis is in trouble here. Runs back up to the tree spot. That's definitely going to be an indicator that he is dangerously low. He just took a sixfold here, which is 15 more additional damage. Avis stands up on the top of the tree line on this uh, stone platform. The noobs are not sure what to do here. If only they could figure out how to climb the tree instead of being noobs. <laughs> climb the tree, man. You guys don't want to climb the tree? Climb the tree? Oh, he's trying. If the noobs are somehow able to get all three of them up on the platform, they'd be able to jump Avis, and if Avis jumps down, he would take some serious fall damage. Why does he miss? Hey, they're noobs for a reason, Avis. They're noobs for a reason. He said, dude, I'm bad. <laughs> okay, just decides to six fold his teammate. He gets up there on top. Kind of sitting waiting. Avis decides to jump down when the Thunder user comes down. Or he's sitting on top of the tree. Nope, jumps down. Starts attacking the insect user. Ooh. Thunder user just lost discharge. Or lost his god speed. Avis gets altered. Definitely takes some damage here. The Thunder user waits up towards the tree line to ensure that Avis doesn't get away. Mm, he waited too long to counter that to hit the sixfold. Avis is instantly back up in the tree. <laughs> now let me hear the noobs complain about it. You guys okay? They're probably like, they're probably mentally devastated. Yeah, I know. It's like almost they can hear me. That's scary. But we standing on we standing on business. So the noobs are giving up. I think what we'll have to do might have to wrap it up. This is pretty devastating. I just caught a mosquito mid-air and destroyed it. 
on some Mr. Miyagi. Once I heal, you said why? Why wrap it up? It's it's going on far too long, that's why. Mm, he gets hit back down. Swatch from the top viewpoint. So if he gets over here, he's a little bit tired here. Die in the next minute. We end at a draw. Someone isn't dying in the next minute. Oh man, he just full musical comboed her. Avis gets hit with insect all. And pinned. Avis is forced in a fight situation. He's got to kill somebody soon. He's running out of precious uh, time out. And it's interesting, even though Avis may lose this given he's forced to fight, I want you guys to be aware that in a situation where he's allowed to do whatever it takes to survive, he is probably not going to die. So it's good if he targets the girl right here knowing that she's so low. Oh, he misses it. Godspeed's miss as well. He's got to get ready to get six-folded. Oh man, Avis is down, and the noobs take victory. Noobs have taken victory, however, in a situation where time is not a problem, I think Avis wins due to his ability. One v five isn't. One v five isn't fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, he just said that's not fair. Like he didn't just. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be ending this video here. If you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys. Actually, I'm gonna be live streaming soon after this video, so I'll see you guys then. Peace.